Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to go over iOS 7, the iTunes Store app. So, we're going to go ahead and click open on the iTunes Store. And as you can see, it's very, very similar to iOS 6. The biggest thing is they've gone, gotten pretty much away from the buttons and like the 3D effect of having buttons and more it, making it more of a flat based look. And the biggest thing is that like they're really big on their transparency. So if you look below um, where you see music, movies, TV shows, you can kind of see how the color changes behind the background. If this thing would actually start working. Um, there it goes. So, so as you can see, like if you look down and see like the pinks and purples, you can kind of see how it goes behind it. So that's that flatter look that uh, Joan Ivy is talking about and all that type of stuff. Um, but once again, pretty straightforward. You can swipe, swipe through, see all the different music that's out, click on movies, uh, all the movies are all the new movies that are coming out, uh, TV shows. I mean, it's all the same basic stuff as before. Um, you can scroll through, click see all to see all of them, latest TV episodes. Uh, you want to go back, always in top left, go back. You get your audio books. These are different books that Apple has for sale in their audio book section. Um, they got the different categories across the top. Uh, you can also click top of the charts. And this is going to be for your music, movies, TV, and audio books. They're going to break down what's selling the most. So as you can see, songs, albums, music videos. Uh, then you click on Genius. This is if you haven't turned on. This will just kind of find stuff that you've that you've purchased or that you're interested in purchasing uh, based on previous purchases that you've made. Uh, so see, so look on if you look on this top left one here, based on Knife Party. Uh, Unison, Unison Knife Party Remix, uh, Porter Robinson Spitfire came up. Uh, and so that's just pretty straightforward. You click on movies and it'll bring up the different movies. So based on Art of Flight, which is a snowboarding video, it's all I can, Sherpa Cinema, it's probably another snowboarding video. Um, then you click on purchased and this is just going to bring up all the different uh, music and movies and stuff that you bought. So not on this iPad, all those movies I don't have on my iPad. Uh, TV shows, just the different TV episodes I've got. Uh, and then that's pretty much it for that. Um, you can go on here just to search, again, search movies. You can type in anything you want in this search function, and it'll bring up any movies, uh, music mo movies, games, TV shows. Actually, sorry, not games, but audiobooks, TVs, movies, music. This little um, kind of checklist looking thing has your wish list of all different books, audio books that you've maybe gone on there and added to your wish list. Uh, they got the radio function. So if you have any iTunes radio um, stations set up, you can click on them right there. And then you also got previews. Uh, these are uh, new things that are coming out or different books and stuff that uh, are audio books and songs that you've already checked before. And then you can also hit clear and it will clear the history. So uh, I'll go ahead and cancel on that. But that's pretty much it for uh, the iTunes store. As you can see, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward. They didn't change too much, just made it a little bit easier to read and navigate through everything. So like before, if you got any questions or uh, need any help, feel free to email us or reach out to us on Facebook, Your Mac Helpers, Mac Helpers, just search for us, find the MH logo and we'll be uh, good to go. Don't want to go in, 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 don